All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to reptile anything in DaVinci Resolve. By reptile, I mean making a grid out of anything you want. So it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna add a background node and just connect it to what we have over here. And then for our tile, we're gonna create a certain, our own little composition. So we can make anything we want. Let's just say I'm gonna use a letter P for our text like this. So let's just view that. Let's make this here. And then I'm gonna use, let's take a, like a 1080 by 1080 crop. So let me add the crop node, shift space, crop node. Add that here. I have my settings already on 1080 by 1080. But what you can do is just hit keep center right there and then change the X size to 1080 and the Y size should be already 1080 there. And so this is gonna be your tile. So now we're, now we're going to connect it with a merge node. So let's add a background node and a merge node right here. Let's view the merge, let's connect the crop to the merge over here, just like that. And then what we can do from here, between the crop and the merge, we're gonna add a transform node and then with the transform node, we're gonna zoom out all the way that we want it, and then we're gonna change our edges to wrap, and that kind of makes our grid just like this. And now it's you can see that the grid is stuck in this 1080 by 1080 crop. We need how do we expand that to a normal crop? So we just uncrop it. So we go here, another crop node, and then it change it to the original aspect ratio as it is like that. And then there we have our effect for any repeating background like that. And this could be a P, this could be uh, a dot. So if you want to make a dot, let's just put in a, a N gone. So the shape nodes have N gone. So S N gone, that's just the shape nodes. And we need S a render to use an S node just like that. And then we could put that here and then connect it to the crop node. You can see right now it's just hexagons, but if you want to make it circles, we can just put up the sides to 100 or so and that gives us our circle as well as there's actually an ellipse node so s ellipse we can just make that a dot as well like that and then we could zoom out a bit more see if we can see our pattern just like this and if we want to make the dots lower we could lower the width and the height i'm just going to link it with expression so double click this here hit an, an equal sign connect this to the width so now i have the same value of what is here and then we could put this down and then we have our dot grid just like that all right